When she was 15 years old, Edna Sims and her sister Frances helped blaze an integrated trail in downtown Huntsville. Not realizing the impact of their actions, these two young girls, along with several other high school and college students, marched day after day for several months up and down the sidewalks in the city of Huntsville, carrying picket signs and singing freedom and old time gospel songs. Their parents, Robert and Ida Mae Sims, never said Edna and Francis couldn't participate, but they were the only young people in their neighborhood who did. We would go into all the restaurants in the city and sit down at the counters and tables to be served meals, Edna said. Some of the local churches on Church Street would prepare food for us to eat. After we would eat, we would go back out and start again. It was almost like a job we had to do, she continued. Young Francis, who now uses the name Washari Ajanuku, was one of the first two people to get arrested. The policemen would not arrest the young demonstrators, so we continued to march after the policemen would take a group away. Edna remembers that we put in a lot of hours marching, singing, and sitting in eating establishments. We went to Oakwood College when Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. spoke there. We would lead out in songs for people to join in. We were sometimes threatened by the employees of the businesses. People would put purses and shopping bags and seats to keep us from sitting down, but we would ask them to remove them. We never showed any fear when we marched mainly because we did not know how serious it was. We were made aware of things that we could do or have, and there was no turning back. Looking back, I know now it was God's protecting hand that kept us safe. At that time, I did not know him, and I did not know we were in danger. Huntsville was not full of violence at that time. People would blurt out things at us, but we never said anything back to them. We just continued to sing and march. Oh you, oh yes.